with fitness and in cab health and wellness. And so oh, I oh, get to do all the other. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, hold that. Hold that. Thought, hold, hold that thought. All you have to do is stay. Yes, sir. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Lockout men. Back again, fresh from a four-day weekend. How was y'all weekend? Y'all, you, you got to tell me that if you was not driving, you better have been at home and you better been on the grill. Look who's talking. I, I, I wasn't even on the grill, okay? But I was at home, four-day weekend. I, I I enjoyed myself, but now I am back doing what I do best, and that's coming to look to you guys live with another podcast interview. Well, welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. I am your host, Lockout Men. Yes, sir. If you guys like this channel or like what I do, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more and for everything that comes through. All right. Today, I am back on the I am back on the truck with another interview for you guys. This young lady I have found actually I found this young lady on her Instagram page. Very interesting. She's big in the fitness world, and she is here to come and talk to us about how to stay healthy on the truck. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So. Let's welcome the LOM community here. We simulcasting live. I, I I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. So let's just get right into the show, shall we? We'll just turn that down right there. I would like to welcome to the show, Miss. Let me make sure. I, I said I was going to mess up. I, I said I was not going to mess up. Mother Trucker Yoga. How's that? How's that? Mother Trucker Yoga. Yes, sir. How's that, ma'am? That was pretty good. Pretty good. So two thumbs up from over here in Wisconsin. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mother Trucker Yoga. Where where did you come up with such an enticing name? Mother, I got <laughs> I, I I I talked to Mother Trucking Mom, Mother, Mother with a different spelling mother and then mo then ma and then mom and all this other good stuff but where did you come up with with your name why 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 mother truck why mother trucking trucker mom you see i'm trying to put the ing in there right <laughs> i'm still i'm i'm, uh, I'm still I'm, i hear you i hear you i hear you i know what you're asking uh well i my name is hope savara and I was in the yoga, fitness, mindfulness world for about 20 years. And three years ago, I uh, live in a small town in Wisconsin, just a little bit north of Milwaukee, for those of you that uh, know the Wisconsin area. Right now, it's a nice and cloudy 54 degrees, if you're wondering what, what, what I'm looking at right now at my window. But uh, mm. I, about three years ago, was at a local business mixer. My husband's in local politics and he's like, Hey, you should come to this mixer. And I was like, no, I don't really want to, but okay, I'll come. And, uh, saw this guy there and, uh, started talking with him. This sounds like a pickup line I'm going to have, but it's not. <laughs> and, uh, start talking with him and he's in trucking and I'm in yoga. And at the time I did corporate yoga for some big companies in my area. And I'm trying to pitch him some possible corporate yoga for the people in his office. And he looks at me and says, what about yoga for the cab of the truck? And I'm a pretty theatrical person at times. And I throw up my hands and I'm like, mother trucker yoga. Just joking, just trying to, you know, make light of a conversation. Just mm -hmm. met this guy. And he sticks his hand out and says, that's brilliant. You want to go into business together? Whoa. And uh, the next day he called me and we started a company. And now last year I bought him out of the company because, well, to be honest, I was doing all the work. And uh, here we are. Okay. Mother Trucker Yoga. That's what's up. Bees knees in the building. He says uh, Asian Mob took Mother Trucker. I know, right? <laughs> I, I know, right? Okay. Well, but, uh, 
let's let's get a background. Let's let's get a background of yourself. Where so you from Wisconsin or you 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 live yeah. born born, so born there? and raised born and raised Wisconsin. I'm a Wisconsinite through and through. You'll probably hear my awesome accent. Most people when I travel to truck stops ask if I'm from Canada, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> a. I'm a Midwesterner, but I'm proud of it. Okay, okay, yeah. I drive up. I drive up through uh, Wisconsin all the time on my way up to Minnesota. So, yeah, I, I am. I am very familiar with you guys and your accents. But it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. It's one of the. It's one of the Midwestern. It's one of the Midwestern cities that, if you don't mind the weather and the snow. Then it's one of the Midwestern cities to 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 live at. Would would I be wrong in saying that? Oh yeah, you know Wisconsinites are incredibly hospitable. We'll hold the door for you. We'll say thank you. We'll smile at you. Um, you know it's it's not a bad place to live for about three months out of the year. <laughs> you say three months out of the year, huh? I did say three months. Uh, the other months are all all iffy. It's uh, weather could be anything, but uh, no, it's 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 good. It's a great place to live, raise a family, and uh, good people. So you've been in a you've been in the fitness game for twenty years. Yeah, just about twenty years. I I actually started in yoga and fitness and the whole kind of just healthier lifestyle when I was in my late teens because uh, I was struggling with an addiction and uh, depression and anxiety and was going down a really, really dark path. And someone suggested yoga to me. And uh, you know how people say things to you sometimes in life and you're just like, huh. And it's just something, something switches, something clicks. That was me when, when someone said that to me about yoga. And I stepped on a yoga mat one day and all of the crap I was dealing with mentally Mm -hmm. just kind of melted away. It didn't mental like permanently, but for that time, I was like, wow, I, I I could totally keep doing this and just started to recognize the benefits in my own life and the ability to help other people with it. And I always tell people, you don't need to be a mother, a trucker or a yogi to do it. And, and, and really, it's just uh, it's a lifestyle that anybody can adapt. And that doesn't mean you have to actually practice yoga for hours every day, but it's the components of yoga and fitness and health that we can adapt to our lives. So the term yoga, where did that actually come from? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, it's dated back to about 5,000 years ago. And you're going to see the word yoga used a lot in Eastern practices. And when we look at it in the Western world, the United States and such, we tend to look at yoga only as a fitness component right. as like you go to yoga and you work out and you, you know, meditate and you do all these things. But yoga is really a lot more than that. Yoga is how we eat, how we breathe, how we move, how we look at life, how we respond to things. And so yoga came from Eastern practices, but really it's, it's a lifestyle. It's not just a workout program, which most of us consider it that in today's world. Right, right. That's that's what I look at it as 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 a workout because when somebody mentioned yoga to me, I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm a big guy. I I don't think I can <laughs> I, I don't think I can like stretch and put my put my body in all sorts of presso like like positions. I mean, uh, yeah. well and. That's the thing. I mean, most of the people I work with now are men, uh, 55 and older, you know, a little bit, a little bit on the bigger side or the muscular side or whatever you want to call it. You know, right, some of them right. have, have definitely reached some life. They got back pain or bad knees or who right. knows what else. Right. And uh, the cool thing about the cool thing about what I do, at least what I do with yoga, is I extract the good things about yoga. This is not about putting your leg behind your head. This is not about doing a headstand. I'm not going to make you do anything crazy unless you really want to. Um, And then we can, then we can definitely do some other stuff like balance on your arms and do crazy twists and stuff, but not necessary. What I teach drivers is how to take the components of moving your body the way it was designed in the cab of your truck. So one of the big things that I like to show drivers is, that they can do while they're driving. I mean, you're driving all day long. You right. might as well make it worth your time rather than just driving things that you can safely do for back pain, for, you know, your shoulders, for your neck, for, 
you know, for uh, digestion, for all sorts of different things that if you can double up, if I can drive and get where I need to go and also take care of my body, what an awesome benefit. And I know for many drivers, myself included, I travel a lot and sleep, like what to do for sleep, what to do to improve your sleep, how to stay asleep. What about your downtime? I mean, there's a lot of downtime that drivers have. Are you utilizing that optimally? This doesn't mean you have to own a yoga mat, but it's a way to look at how we're living in the environment that we're in and maximize that. That's what I teach drivers. Okay. It just so happens I have a a word like yoga attached to it. Okay. 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 So what what that entails, um, how, how, how do you get in contact with these drivers? Do you go to the uh, truck stops or do you, or do you just, you know, how, how, how do truckers gravitate to you? How do they find find out about me? Right. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Yeah. Good question. So uh, a couple of options or a couple of ways. So I, I work with CA Petro. They're one of our partners and that's uh, just actually in the last year. And so before COVID, I was going to one of their truck stops every month and I would hang out there and talk to drivers and show them if there's a fitness center there, show them how to use the fitness center with simple, easy things that they could do in like five minutes or less. I would, I have a bunch of stuff that I give them as far as like little free handouts and, and exercise routines and answer questions. And so I, uh, I do a lot of talking, a lot of talking, <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I did a lot of truck shows. And so um I taught at GAS and at MASS, so I was supposed to be um, teaching some fitness classes and some seminars at the upcoming events that were now canceled, obviously, for 2020. But um, social media is a big thing for me. So I do Facebook Lives every week. I have a Facebook group that we go live in. We're actually just running a challenge right now, and we just ran one previously. Mm-hmm. And um, so I, I do a lot of networking. I work with a lot of different trucking companies that don't necessarily have drivers, but support drivers. And so I connect with them and help support drivers on their health and wellness journey, because you and I both know without drivers, there is no lifestyle. There is no, there is no America. There is no nothing. Like we need you guys, but more importantly, we need you guys healthy. We need you guys and gals at your optimal, whatever that is, or whatever those goals are. And I want to help you get there because I appreciate you guys. Like I said, my, my husband uh, is a CDL holder. He doesn't drive over the road, but uh, he's now a little bit more in the office than he was before. And my neighbor growing up. And so I, you know, I, I totally get the lifestyle, but we got to take better care of ourselves. And uh, I want to help you guys do that. A lot of what, what do you say? OK, so you probably might be the perfect person to ask this question. What do you what, what do you what do you say when you see drivers out here that's like literally out of out of weight i mean out of shape that's that that looks in my opinion my opinion only guys don't hate me Mm -hmm. but that looks like that they really don't need to be in the truck what do you Mm -hmm. how, how do you go by how do you go by helping them or or what, what do you say to yourself well, I think when you first, see something like it's that? It's first about opening a conversation. You know, I, I'm not one to be like, oh, you're so out of shape. And I'm also not one to say the only way to fitness and health is to see how many push-ups you can do. Because I know a lot of people that can do a lot of push-ups and are the most healthy, unhealthy person I've ever met. So I think part of it is opening the conversation. I like to think of myself as, you know, confident but not intimidating. And so I open up the conversation when I meet these people at the truck stop and I'm like, hey, you know, and I ask them their name, where they're heading to or where they're coming from and how long they've been driving. And that usually kind of warms them up a little bit that I'm mm-hmm. not selling anything. <laughs> exactly. Or want or 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 want any or want or want anything for that matter, because you know how you know exactly. how us truckers come like, like I want to you something. I don't want to take something. And I think just culturally people aren't used to that. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think after I have that conversation going, what I usually I ask is what do you do to take care of yourself on the truck? Like I make them tell me what they do. And so if they're like, Oh, they, you know, tell me something that clearly is a lie. uh, Then I ask a little bit more detail, but if they're like, you know, I don't have time for that. I point blank often ask, well, do you have time not to be driving when Hmm. you can no longer drive? I mean, do you have time to only sit and watch your kids or grandkids 
play at home? Like, do you have time? Can you afford not to have a job? Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a pretty direct person. I'm never rude, but I think the thing is, is we have to kind of sometimes turn the tables back on people and, and, and ask them like, does your health matter to you? So if you're listening right now, does your health matter to you? Because without your health, what do you have? You can have the best job. You can have a ton of money, but if you don't have your health, you can't enjoy any of that. Exactly. That's, I've been saying that for the longest, you know, I always like, you know, I, I don't, I don't consider myself in bad health, but I do, I do, need to work on my health you know what i'm saying i'm a type 2 diabetic mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so i work yep. on i work on that i work on i work on as far as making sure that i eat right i move like right now i just brought a heavy rope like one of them one of them heavy jump ropes yeah. so i i just brought that and like when i get time like time i i can make time like in the fuel island, I, I jump rope in the fuel island. I jump rope at the at the at the tr- uh, at the shippers and receivers. I mean, I I I, well, I feel that's a perfect I, example. Right, I feel like I can't do anything else. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm out here. It's kind of hard to get to you know Planet Fitness. And when I do get to Planet Fitness, there's nowhere to park a, a tractor and a trailer. Mm-hmm. So I had to figure out what will be the next best thing for me. And right now, uh, paying $40 for that heavy rope works for me. Well, and that's such a perfect example, you sharing that, because the reality is, and you don't have to be a truck driver, because I hear I hear stuff back all the time from anybody of any job in any profession in any lifestyle. I don't have time. You know, and I always tell people excuses are bad reasons why not to, you know, an excuse is just a bad reason. And so why, how can we turn that around? If you say you don't have time, well, let's look at how we can maybe double up. That's my example of driving in the truck. Like you can do something called pelvic tilt. Your lower back hurts. If you get out of the truck and you feel like you're, you're a statue, like, oh, is your usual response when you get out of the truck after a couple hours? Well, there's some things that you can do right in the driver's seat. What about walking around your truck? If you can't leave your load for whatever reason, what about just walking around the truck? Getting some cardio in. What about stepping up and down off the step for a minute straight, just a minute? You will be amazed at how much your heart rate goes up just stepping up and down off the step of your truck for a minute straight. There are so many things that you can do with the time that you have in the time it takes to fill up your truck, in the time it takes to have a 30-minute break. Once you're off for the night and you get on Facebook, at least maybe walk around the truck parking lot or your truck or, you know, do whatever it is while you're scrolling Facebook, while you're talking with your spouse. Let's double up instead of trying to find more time out of your day, out of your life. How about we just add those things into the lifestyle that you have? Okay. Okay. I like you. That's what's up. All right. I'm, you know what? I just got inspired. <laughs> I just Can got I, 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 I just I, I just got inspired. I mean I I do that now. I do that now, but you just inspired me more to put a little bit more effort into it. Like if I'm at a shipper or a receiver, just get out, walk around, step up and I, I you know, I never thought about the the step up and down off the off the steps. I never thought about that. Yeah. But I'm now go- you're gonna get your heart rate up. Okay, I, I okay, okay. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna jump all into that. Um, I want to welcome everybody in the LOL community. Bees knees trucking show. Now, Bees knees trucking. That's uh that's a guy. He's big into fitness. He uh, me and him just talked uh a while back about how he keeps you know how he keeps um you know fit in the, in the, you know, out here in the trucking world. So that's, you know, he was a good guy to talk to. Mom Deuce Love, how you doing? Chicago BBW, how you doing? Christopher Robin wants to know, do you have an Instagram or a business Instagram? Yes, she do. And I will share all that at the end of the, uh, at the end of the conversation. Uh, Trucker Jukebox, what's going on, man? Invitation is still out there to you, buddy. I'm waiting. And Don Schuller, what's going on, bro? Um, what do you need? 
What? Mom, I'm going to call you mom. What What do you need to start <laughs> yoga? What, what do you need to start yoga? Great question. So all you need, the yoga I know, the yoga I teach, the yoga I promote, the yoga that I try to encourage drivers to do, you don't need anything but yourself. And the reason why I say that is because the yoga that I teach you all is in the driver's seat, in the sleeper, and right outside the rig. Now, we have programs I, I teach you guys. If you want routines, 20-minute routines, 15-minute routines to actually do like yoga on a yoga mat, we got that for you. But the bulk of what I teach is just small bursts of movement that you can do three minutes here, five minutes here, six minutes here. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, that all adds up. And if you're like I am, where I just kept on having empty promises to myself, oh, when I park, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 60 minutes of exercise. When I get home, I'm going to work out every day. Right. Well, I'm going to wake up earlier tomorrow and then I'm going to, I'm going to get a quick run in or I'm going to do some yoga or go get to the gym. And we and never do it. Happens? We no, never do it. Nothing happens. We, we never do we it. We never do it. <laughs> we Exactly. So what if, what if? Instead, we add that movement in small chunks throughout our day into our day. So then at the end of the day, we add all that up. That could be 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes of extra movement you wouldn't have gotten in. And if, if you decide to go to the gym or go for an actual walk or you do some yoga, that's bonus. That's bonus points. But stop banking on the bonus points if you're not even moving in your everyday life. See, drivers, y'all, y'all sh- listen to this lady, man. I'm telling you, man. It's not all about, it's not all about out here trying to. I, I know it's about trying to get that bag, at least for some of you, but you 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 can't be chasing that bag if your if your health ain't all right. Oh uh, man, mom. Well, and then you don't, you, don't have no, you don't have no health to enjoy it. If you're if you're trying to catch that bag, if you're trying to make money, if you're trying to get a legitimate business. And I know the struggle. I understand the business struggle. Trust me. Like, you know, I, I'm a hustler through and through everything I've made is from the bottom up and it's been hard. But that being said, if I'm not feeling well, if I'm tired, if my body hurts, if I'm putting on weight, if, if whatever, I could go on and on and on. What's the point? And then people are going to look at me and they're not going to take me seriously. Just because I'm in the fitness world, it doesn't matter. But they're going to look at me and be like, why should I work with you? You look like you don't care about life. Hmm. Mm, mm, and mm. so I'm not trying to sound rude, but what I am saying is take some pride in yourself. You are worth it. You are worth more than just saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Because what do people say on their deathbed? They say, I wish I would have. I wish I would have taken better care of myself. I wish I would have spent more time with my kids. I wish I would have gone to that yoga class. I wish I would have listened to that lady on that podcast a couple of years ago because I would be in a different place than I am right now. Exactly. And I say this because that was me. 15 years ago, I almost lost my life because I let addiction take over me. I let all of my worries and insecurities, I let all of that stuff take over and I almost lost my life for it. Mm. And I don't want other people to have that happen to them. So you may have not gone what I went through, but I think we all have a struggle. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be so complicated. Man, that's, uh, I, I am, like I said, man, I, I am sitting here being, being in awe right now because I'm being in awe and inspired just just by this little lady off of Instagram. See how network works, y'all? <laughs> what if um right? Okay, so I, I never, you know, me personally, and I'm I'm assuming other drivers, uh what, uh, what if, you know, what do we st- how do we start if we never done yoga before? Great question. So how you start is one, you make the mental decision that you're gonna start. You're going to start. Even if you've never done it before, you're going to figure it out, and I'm going to help you figure it out. So step one is mentally, we have to be in. We have to be all in. Because if you're like, yeah, I'm going to make this change in my life, but I'm going to start tomorrow, that's usually a sign you're not ready. And so if you're listening to this, you're like, you know what? 
I want to improve my health. I want to improve my life. I want to feel better wherever I am. I want I want to be able to be that person I keep telling everybody that I'm going to be or keep telling myself. You just first have to make that decision for yourself right now. And then second, second is to erase from your mind what everything else, everyone else, media, social media, everything else has been telling you about what fitness should look like. Because being fit in your life does not mean that you check the box on the gym every day. It does not mean that you practice yoga 60 minutes every day. It does not mean that you only eat lettuce for, for, your, for your lunch, breakfast, and dinner every day. That's not what being healthy and fit means. What that means is that you open your mind and check out my Instagram page. Check out my, my, my Facebook page, my YouTube page. I got free stuff everywhere. Like, I, I'm the queen of free. I mean, you want to go deep with me. I got other stuff. But you can get started today, my friend. Something as simple as if you're driving right now and just think about what's around you in your driver's seat. When is the last time you reached your arm up overhead and just stretched your shoulder? How about if you're sitting at a chipper waiting to load or unload and it's called chair running and you lift and lower your legs and run in your seat as fast as you can for 30 seconds or a minute, move your arms. It might look a little silly, but I'd rather be healthy than look silly. Like I, I'm, I'm totally past that in my life. You know, sit tall, do pelvic tilts, arch your back and then round your back to help decrease back pain. For those of you with lower back pain, there's so many things that you can do when you're laying in your sleeper at night, bend your knees and drop your legs side to side. It's going to help your spine feel a lot better, help your lower body, help with so many other issues that you might be having. You know, I could go on and on and on and you know, definitely go check out my social media sites because you can watch videos till the cows come home on that stuff, just short little stuff. And to help you improve your health. And I, and I assure you, you do stuff like this, you add these into your day, you will feel better. And not just feel better, you'll look better, you'll move better, your better outlook on life. I mean, it goes on and on and on. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. What if, all right, so what if, a, what if a person, now you mentioned that, you know, lower back pain, but what if a person, uh, like, has, a, has an injury or a physical condition, can they still uh, do yoga? Yeah. Yeah. So I can only speak for people that work with me, uh, but my background, you know, I'm not just someone that just learned yoga poses because 15 years ago, all of a sudden it occurred to me one day teaching a yoga class because I used to own a yoga studio. And I was like, Holy crap. I, I could actually hurt these people. Like I'm telling these people to do these moves and I have no idea about the human body. And it occurred to me that I learned poses, not people. And so I spent 15 years learning biomechanics and functional anatomy and actually how the human body moves so that I could come back to things like fitness and yoga and exercise and go, okay, what are we really trying to do? If somebody has a herniated disc, is that something safe for them? If they have tight hips, why could that be happening? And what are some other things that they could do instead of that if that movement doesn't work? So it completely changed my perspective. I, wanna, I don't want to go all kung fu movement ninja on you guys, but my point is take inventory because most people learn poses. They learn exercises. They don't have a clue about how the human body actually moves. Hmm. Okay, okay. So before this, and if you if you wanna let me say, let me give you one quick example before I move on. So mm -hmm. if if you want to strengthen your core, you want to strengthen your core, and you're here doing plank poses. Here's a quick tip: if you're someone that does plank pose on your forearms, don't put your fists together because it makes you use more arm strength than core strength. So pro tip: pull your fists apart so they're shoulder width and push them into the ground as hard as you can, and you'll trigger your core muscles instantly. You won't even have to do anything. Okay. Your body will just automatically know what you need to do. So okay. if you are, are a core buff or you are doing some strengthening exercises and you're familiar with plank, there's a good example for you. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. What a, so before COVID, uh, I, I, I was assuming that you, you had a class, right? Yeah, so pre-COVID, part of what I did was I went into companies and taught services or like, you know, training, health training, and we taught yoga and showed truck drivers different principles that they could be using in their everyday life. Um, Pre-trucking, I taught a lot of yoga classes, and so now I do a lot more online, 
And so I actually have a membership site drivers can join and they can take my classes and they can work with me. Um, but I do a lot of stuff virtually because it's hard for drivers, obviously, to get together. And now COVID comes in and totally wrecks any type of contact truck drivers can have on some some extent. So this is where I think we need to say thank you, technology, because uh, things like Zoom and Facebook Live and Facebook groups and different things, different things like that make being able to have an actual class possible. Hold on very quick. Uh, a comment just came through. Let me bring that back up. Don Schuler says, I can't get too many words in. No, nah, man. No, nah, bro. I, 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 hey, look, I, what she saying, what she saying is facts, bro. What she saying is facts. This is what, <laughs> this is what we need to listen. You know, this is the time and th instead of talking, this is the time to listen. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody say you need to, you need to listen more than you talk. This is that time because, like I said, these jewels right here that she's giving, man, I mean, you know, stuff that she's saying, you know, she charged for this. Like, literally, like, yo, if you want me to tell you what's up, you got to pay me, <laughs> you know. So for her to come on and uh and chop it up with me on the podcast for free, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These is jewels that I'm that I'm that I myself is going to start putting in my regiment man so when you was when you was in class right now this is just a funny question but when you in class <laughs> when you in class like you know you got men you got women and all like that uh it's as as far as a man go so let's say a man get into you know get into some positions and start you know twisting and turning and all like that and he turns around and let one rip. Do, do, do that, do that bother? Do that like stop the class or do, or is that natural? Like, you know, like, I, well, I know it's natural, but in the setting like that, you know, I, and I say men because I, you know, women, they, they don't want to say they, women don't want to say they, they, they lay, they lady like, they don't want to say they let one rip, but do it. I love it. I love it. Wow, that's a great and totally legit question. And believe it or not, when I ran a yoga studio, that was a concern that new students will ask me is they'll say, what if I fart in class or do people fart in class? And my response is usually, you know, I'm actually concerned for the people that don't pass gas oh. because that means your body's not working right. So if you're passing gas, which you should be about five to 15 times during the day, more at night, actually, while you're sleeping, mm -hmm. like that's a good thing. It means that stuff is moving. And and furthermore, when people actually legitimately pass gas in class, because that, that is a question I get, is uh, I usually make a comment like, you know, we all do it. And people laugh. But you know what? It's a part of life. And uh, you just got to kind of roll with it. And I've had some people rip some, and believe it or not, more women than men, um, and, and just constantly. And it's just like, you just roll with it. What are you going to do, be embarrassed or just own it? So I think it's one of those things that it's just, uh, I try to make light of it for the students so that they're not embarrassed and, and try to get some laughing going, which laughing is good for the soul. Yes, but uh, it's going to happen. And for those of you that are worried about it, I'd ask yourself, are you passing gas? Because if you're not, Something inside of you is not working right, and we need to fix that. <laughs> what about what? What's the difference between all these other yogas that's 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 out? We got we got ninja yoga, we got heat yoga. What, what's the fire hot yoga? What what is the difference in all that? Is that all the same, or is it what 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 is that? Good question. So I first say one marketing. And so, uh, you know, you got, you got to do what you got to do to sell your products. So I'll say that. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'll also speak to the fact of there are many different styles of yoga. There's what's called Ashtanga yoga, which is a really fast paced yoga where you do certain postures in a certain order and that's all you do. Um, and there's also Bikram yoga or hot yoga, which is yoga in anywhere between a 99 to 120 degree room. Um, there's Hatha yoga, which is more of the, the practice that I practice, which is more about, uh, just understanding the postures and what you're trying to do. And then you kind of create small flows or sequences. Um, so there's that. And then there's, uh, Bhakti yoga, which is more of a yoga of prayer. 
And so there's so many different yogas. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And the best way to describe that is, is it think about making lasagna Mm -hmm. and everyone has their own version of how they make lasagna, whether it's how they saute the meat or if they put vegetables or not, or if they use marinara or their own sauce, or they use, you know, noodles or no noodles, whatever it is. Everyone's got their own take on it. Yoga is a lot like lasagna. Okay. Depending on where you come from, depending on what your background is, the lasagna is going to look a little bit different. The yeah. yoga is going to look a little bit different. Okay. And so I always just caution people, make sure that what you're doing is helping you and not hurting you. Okay. Make sure that what you're doing actually helps you improve your everyday life. I mean, I ask students all the time when they, when I had a yoga studio and they'd come in and be like, I want to learn how to do headstands. And then I'd say, okay, great. Show me tree pose. And they couldn't even stand on their own two feet. They couldn't even stand on one foot. Mm. So the obsession to want to stand on your head makes absolutely no sense. Hmm. Christopher Robbins Just said, a concept to think about. Christopher Robbins says, people laugh and keep it moving. Yoga is serious, is a serious workout. He also says that hot yoga is like 95 degrees in there, and you're literally sweating as soon as you walk in the door. Is that comfortable though? Uh, <laughs> well, and there's a lot of there's a lot of conflicting science behind the idea of Bikram or hot yoga. Yeah, it's about 95 to 99 to 120, depending on what style of the hot yoga you're practicing. And I will say this: if if you are not in picture perfect health, I would caution you to not do hot yoga. Yeah. If, if you have a heart issue, if you haven't exercised in 20 years, and you're like. I'm going to do yoga and hot yoga is your first choice. My friend, please step back slowly away from the vehicle, close your door and go back inside. Like, and I'm saying this because you can hurt yourself. If you're, if you aren't in good health, hot yoga may not be for you right now. Is hot yoga a great practice? It can be. Should it be practiced every day? I don't think so. Um, I myself don't practice it every day. I used to run a hot yoga class once a week. Um, and that's it. And there was a reason why I did that because I didn't want to take people down a path that I didn't believe was healthy. So, um, you know, I answer your question. It's, it's a cool experience, but just make sure your health is up to par before you step on a yoga mat in a setting like that. All right. That's what's up. I only got a few more questions. What's what, how, how many times should I, should I practice, uh, if I decide to get into this yoga thing, how, how many times should I, yeah. should, I tra- should I practice a week? Yeah, well, if you're if you're talking about a standard style practice, like coming to a yoga mat, doing a 30, 40, 60, 90 minute class, I usually tell people, start with what you can commit to. So if you think about New Year's resolutions, 8% of the population actually continues their New Year's resolution after <laughs> four weeks. And there's you know, a reason why. You know, Because right? we bite off more than we can do. So how about saying I'm going to practice yoga once a week and actually following through with that? Because things that we follow through with actually work. Things that we don't follow through with don't work. I mean, if you think about it, it's like, duh. So I would say, what can you commit to? And aside from that, if you decide you want to look at Mother Trucker Yoga and what I'm doing with truck drivers, a lot of what I do, I break it down. So it's like five minutes here, three minutes here, 20 minutes here. And you can be doing that every day. You can be doing that every day because these are all things that you can incorporate into your day. If you want to hit up the yoga mat straight up after your work day, awesome. What can you commit to and follow through with? That's the question I have for you. Mm. Is there is there a particular age limit to to doing yoga? Like I'm I'm in my uh, I'm 51. So, you know, you okay. I I I've seen people, I I've seen older people like damn near in their 80s and 90s knocking out some yoga poses is is there is there age limit to it or anybody can do it great question so i had students as young as two days old i used to teach a mommy and baby class that was so fun uh and i've taught students in a in a non-chair yoga class okay so chair yoga with a chair non-chair yoga no chair that were 89 years old and killing it like, they would come in, and they, they would do everything we'd ask. They'd make their own modifications if necessary. They might move a little slower in some areas. So yoga is for everybody. Yoga is for everybody. If you have a teacher that understands 
how to teach you and your unique body and show you some variations. Because we all got stuff going on. Nobody's a picture perfect, you know, epitome of health. But uh, we need to learn to honor our bodies for what is going on today. It might not be like that tomorrow. But please do not tell yourself, I can't do yoga because I'm too overweight or I'm too stiff or I'm too old or I'm too thin or I'm too too busy, whatever it is. Like, please don't say that to yourself. Like, try yoga. Try yoga. And if it isn't a great experience at first, try it again. Try it again. Try something two, three, four times. I think about my kids. It's like when I'm like, hey, you should eat this food. It's good for you. And they're like, I don't like it. And then all of a sudden, three times later, they're like, I like it. And it's like, yeah, you may not have liked it the first time, but but now you do because it was cooked differently or prepared differently or mixed with something else. So yoga can be the same way. That's what's up. Mother Trucker Yoga, everybody. Wow. You came in and just came in and just killed it. Like, you just dropped jewels for, 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 for me personally. I'm, like I said, I, I am going to take this. I'm going to run with it and, and try. I, I, I probably might not could do the yoga mat. But everything else that you that you told me that I can do, I can do. And like I said, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, that's part of what we're about. At Mother Trucker Yoga, that's how we roll. We are all about in-cab fitness and wellness. Tiny, easy things that you can do throughout your day. Like, if you're like, yoga mat's not for me, but I'm interested, check us out. See what we're up to. Check out my Instagram. Check out Facebook. Email me. Check out our website. We got some awesome blogs all sorts of stuff and ask any question. That's, that's why I'm here. I love helping drivers. I love seeing the lights go on for all you men and women to realize that you don't have to say, well, I'm a trucker. So I can't like, you don't get to use that excuse with me. Like that doesn't work with me because I love finding a way. Like that's what gets me excited. And that every morning I wake up, I'm like, I love to find ways for people that say there are no ways. So uh, hit me up, email me, message me, check out what we're doing because uh, there's hope for you guys. No pun intended, but my name is Hope. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question. Do do you drive? So I do not drive a truck. I unfortunately do not, but uh, that is in my that is in my bucket list here for 2020. Um, we actually have a, a CDL training school not too far from where I live, right here in Madison. I'm pretty fortunate. It's a pretty good school. Um, but uh, if you are asking if I drive a semi-truck, no. Do I drive a forklift? Yes. Do I drive a skid steer? Yes. Have I dro- drove a backhoe? Absolutely. So heavy machinery is my game. My husband is in the contracting world. So, you know, if, if we have to compare apples to apples, you'll see me in any of that kind of stuff. But I do not drive a truck. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing I'm on your let me go ahead and uh go ahead and get to it. There we go. I'm on hold on. There we go. Hold on. Whoops, wrong button. That's how it always works. Hold on right quick. Now let me try it. There we go. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm on your YouTube page, which is her YouTube page okay. is Mother Trucker Yoga. I will link that in the uh, in the description, and I will also link that at the end of the podcast when I when I go uh, when I put it up, so you guys can uh, go to her YouTube page. On here, uh, on here, you got some you you got some uh, you got some tips, uh, some fitness fitness tips and stuff like that, but. M T Y is is that your truck? The red truck right there? No, that is No, so that is not. So when we first started creating all of our videos, mm-hmm. we were fortunate that Interstate Power Systems donated a 2018 Freightliner truck for us to film in so that everything would be nice and clean and and be able to oh, okay. get what we needed to get done for video content. So we are fortunate enough to have that donated to us for the weekend and uh, shot videos in there up in Minnesota. But uh, th- that is not my truck, but that would be pretty damn sweet if it was. I know, right? So I'm switching over to your Instagram. Her Instagram is Mother Trucker Yoga on Instagram. And this is where you guys can uh, can find her at. She has uh, 
some pictures on there of things that you can do as far as uh as far as uh yoga stuff and all like that. And let me see, I got your website as well. Her website, same thing, Mother Trucker Yoga. You can definitely check her out on her website. Your Facebook, on the other hand, what what is what is your Facebook? So my business page is Mother Trucker Yoga. So if you just, I like to keep it easy. I like to keep it consistent. So if you go to Mother Trucker Yoga on Facebook, you're going to see me on there. So I do a Wellness Wednesday Facebook Live every week, and I do a Fitness Friday Facebook Live every week. I have a private Facebook group, uh, Accelerate Your Health with Mother Trucker Yoga, that I run my challenges in there. We do a lot of Q&A, um, all different stuff in there. So like I said, I have a lot of opportunities for all of you to, you know, just kind of check out what we're doing. And then uh, I also have a membership site that dri drivers can uh, become a part of. It's a month to month for seven ninety nine a month, seven dollars ninety nine cents. Super cheap, super where, inexpensive. Because uh, where I want can you they, guys to have that. Where, where can they, where, where can they find the uh, where can they find that at? So if you go to my website, mothertruckeryoga dot com, uh -huh. and uh, when you see that, there's a tab on the top that says subscribe or join one of the two. Um, and then it will give you all the information about what you get when you join and, and how it works and pretty easy. You're just going to create a username and a password and, uh, enter in your info and then you get access to our videos and, uh, we drip new content to you guys every single month. So you start out with a certain amount of videos and content and then each month we give you guys access to more and more. So you're never bored. And you're never like, I did everything. Now what? So that's, right. um, so that's pretty much how our member site works. But more importantly, you get access to me. So I'm here to answer all your questions. Um, I try to do my very best. I, I'm constantly pulling drivers saying, hey, what's going on? Hey, what do you need? Because I'm not here just to run my mouth at all of you. Like, I actually want to help you. I want to know what's going on and what problems that we can solve together so that you can keep doing what you need to be doing. Because... There's only one of you, and you do what you do really well, and I do it why I do really well, and together we can conquer the world, my friend. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Again, Mother Trucker Yoga, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by today, dropping, uh, dropping plenty of jewels on us. Uh, mom, I want to call you mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So thank you, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, so guys, go to her website, subscribe to her on YouTube, follow her on her Instagram, and uh, and if you want to work with the young lady, uh, go and uh, and go and join. You know what I'm saying? So again, thank you to my special guest today, Mother Trucker Yoga, in the building. So thank you very much. If you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, Lockout Men, you can do that. Make sure you hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. If you want to head over to Instagram, you can follow me over there. Hit me in the DM. I appreciate you guys, man. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that all button, the support button. Hook a brother up with some coffee, man. I'm just saying. Hit me up with some coffee. You can do that with the coffee app or the cash app. Dollar sign. Lockout, man. I appreciate you guys listening. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much to the LOM community. Let me shout you guys out. Bees Knees Trucking, Mom Deuce Love, Chicago BBW, Christopher Robin, Trucker Jukebox, Trucker J, Don Schuler. I cannot pronounce your name right, bro, but I hope you rock with me. Christopher Robin, Swamp Girl. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. Until next time. Until next time. You guys have a blessed day. Let me get the button ready. You guys have a blessed day, and I'll come back at y'all with another video. Peace.